Next up is Karin Bryder from Call6. Welcome, Karin. Thank you. Antibiotic resistance. That is a huge problem in the world today. It affects us all by a growing number of infections where antibiotic doesn't work anymore. This is a great burden for the society and also for the patients, of course, that are affected. Actually, in 2019, almost 1.3 million people died from bacterial infections with strains that were antibiotic resistant. So now I would like you to join me on a mission to fight antibiotic resistance. We have a peptide technology that actually has the power to reduce the use of antibiotics. And why is that important? Well, the main driver for resistant development is actually the use of antibiotics and an overuse of that. Our peptides also destroys already existent resistant bacterial strains. And on this picture, the arrow shows all the strains that we've tested and they all are killed by our peptides. We have a second mission that I also would like you to join us in and that is to improve wound healing and especially for hard to heal wounds. Hard to heal wounds, well, the most known one is of course diabetic foot ulcers, but there are also pressure and leg ulcers in that category. Most, if not every hard to heal wound are infected with uh, bac bacteria. They're dormant, but sometimes they get activated and then you have a huge infection that is almost always treated with antibiotics. So to be able to heal a hard to heal wound, you need to attack the bacterial infection as well as making a milieu for the tissue to grow back. So at Cold 6, we develop bioactive products and we're using peptides from collagen 6, Col 6. Uh, collagen 6 is present all over the body uh, together with its family members, collagen 1, 2, 3, and so forth. Interestingly enough, collagen 6 is upregulated when you get a bacterial infection, example in the skin. And the molecule is then degraded into pe small peptides that are active within the wound. So our first product, Wundcom. Wundcom is a medical device. It's a wound dressing. It's built from collagen six, a collagen one matrix, uh, and then added on with collagen six peptides. As you can see on this picture, the uh, Wundcom that is situated in here in the middle in a wound is very like the dermis, which is this one. It's the low part of your skin. Magnifying this, you can see closer into Wundcom and it has a very structural um, appearance with pore sizes that is well known to amplify cell proliferative activities. Then one then magnify this even further and visualize our peptide with Im immunostaining, you can see that the peptides are evenly distributed throughout the product. So if one then takes this material and put bacteria on it, on the low two panels, that is pure collagen one, a matrix, the matrix, and then the upper two panels are wound comb. The green are bacteria and the pinkish thing is dead bacteria and debris from bacteria that is actually sticks to the collagen one matrix when they burst. As you can see, having the peptides in Wundcom enhances the effect, the, the uh, antimicrobial effect extensively. On the other hand, if put, um, putting human cells on the matrix, you can see that the purple ones here is cells from skin and adding that to collagen 
makes them grow very well. So in a couple of days, they multiply. Having our peptides in Wuncom augments this activity even further. So in real life, well, we made a porcelain wound model where we inflicted wounds on healthy pigs, infected them heavily with Pseudomonas, and then treated with either a normal uh, wound dressing, like a natural healing situation, the collagen, pure collagen dressing, or our wound comp. A normal wound healing in a healthy pig takes about three weeks. With a collagen wound dressing, it takes about two. And with wound com, the wound were healed within the week. So, in summary, wound com contains some natural occurring molecules that are completely compatible to, our, to the body. Um, we do decrease the need for antibiotics because we kill the bacteria in the wounds and it heals faster. The project is now in clinical investigation phase. We're awaiting green light for our proposed clinical investigation. We believe that Wooncom is well situated in the landscape of wound dressings. We attack both the antimicrobial properties and the wound healing promotion. The market. So the market size today for collagen wound dressings are, is 2 million US dollars. The biggest play, players are, of course, the US and the Mid, uh, Middle East. And it's, it's noted that the collagen wound dressing is just 10% on the overall advanced wound dressing market. We believe that Wooncom will have an addressable market that can take all advanced wound dressing uh, properties. With that said, our first target is hard to heal wounds. In that target group, you have a prevalence of 2 million patients globally. And that is rising because we get older and we get sicker. So this will even be further enhanced along with the years. Our second target is, of course, that we would like to expand to acute wounds. So after the pandemic, we'd had some interesting discussions with future distributors. But of course, in this case, the next step is awaiting clinical investigation. Interestingly enough, we've had interest from veterinarians that have tested the product and found it quite good. So that is maybe an indication of that our first market would be animal care. I'm, I've been talking a lot about Wooncom, but we have a peptide platform and we've had some interesting discussion for licensing agreements for partners that then will use them in their specific development programs. So to us, we uh, started the company in 2016 and got our first bag of money in 2019. Today, we're four very dedicated people working with the project and the company, and we are fully equipped to take this company and the project we have one step further. So... As we have grown from 2016 and made a lot of progress in our product, we've uh, been funded by 68 million Swedish kroners. And we have had the fortune to be partly funded the Wooncom project from the European Union Horizon 2020. And as you can see, the distribution of, uh, of shareholders are fairly equal between the founders and uh, external investors. So, of course, now we're talking about we're here and presenting and we're looking to raise new capital. We would like to be able to have some resources into the distribution of the, into the animal market. And also, as you saw, the 
the big player is US, where the where collagen, especially, and um, advanced wound dressings are accepted. Um, we would like them to be able to put in an application for an FDA approval. Why we're not doing that in the first case? Yes, we got the EU grant and we're, of course, obligated to uh, look into the EU market. Going further and having maybe the uh, cap, which uh, at 40 million, uh, we would like to be able to expand our user claims of Wundcom. That requires additional clinical investigation. And that, of course, as you know, costs a lot of money. Of course, also, we would like to investigate our fully platform. We're now focusing on two peptides. We have a set of 20 and we would like to make a feasibility studies and to additionally use of the whole technology. So I hope I've convinced you to join me in the, on this exciting journey. And of course, you're welcome to uh, contact and I would like you to contact me or Jens for further questions and some discussions. So, as I said, thank you and hope you'll join me. Where do you see the company in two years? So the company will have some license agreement and some development programs uh, with the peptides, with other peptides or the same peptides that we use in Wuncom today. The Wuncom project will be in the phase of either having a CE mark or actually in the end of receiving a CE mark because we have the come upcoming trial or investigation, clinical investigation first, and then we have to apply for a C mark. And unfortunately, the notified body system, as you know, now is kind of struggling with uh, the new regulations and it takes a lot of time. This is also a very complicated product. Uh, but on the, oh, for the other ones, and I think we're, we're, we're having a distributor for the uh, animal care. Um, we have... If I can dream, we actually have an FDA approved and maybe have uh, made a study in the US to be able to then market it. But in two years, I think it's too early to say that we're having this great market uh, access, but but still we're we're kind of in on the border to, to actually uh, go in there. And what does the competition look like in this field? So the competition is, of course, a lot of advanced wound dressings. If we look at the wound dressings, um, and there are different peptides coming up here. We have uh, some studies in Sweden, and they're also looking at the same thing as we. Uh, we have the collagen um, market that is quite extensive, and a lot of products are really good. But none of them really have the dual activity that I was talking about. So... It's also that, of course, we need a lot of proof before anyone will use it and buy it. So it is a, a huge market. It is um, a lot of competition. Um, I do think some of them, because of the new regulation, will actually go away. Um, and the use of silver and some other chemicals that have been kind of uh, looked into with other cancerogenic, you have to stop using those. So... Um, I think that's kind of where we are. Um, with upcoming projects, there are some up upcoming projects and we'll have to see where, where those leads, of course, if we're kind of in the same area. Thank you, Karin, for joining us today in the studio. Thank you.